Hi, my name is Dottie, this is Rosie, my sister, and we love making stuff out of art, like mad stuff. <laughs> the name of our artwork is um, Surf on Turf, because we did it outside on the grass and we used surfboards and it was like an under the sea, over the sea scene, kind of. What we've discovered is like that you can make art out of anything. Making things out of any old thing you found in your house or in the garden. So we're going to use the cones for the eyes of the octopus. Anything you find in your house can be made into a piece of art. Sleeping bags, blankets, towels, towels for the sea. To make this big. So these are like the waves. Oh, this way. If you are reading this, your talent has been recognised and you should be very proud of your achievements. Practice every day and enjoy every second because making good art is a job worth celebrating. Shane Keeling. Yeah, I love that. Isn't that amazing? Yes. Oh my god. My name is Katerina. I am seven. The name of this piece of art is Sleeping on a Rainbow. I drew this picture because I love my cat. My cat Rainbow has magical powers to me because she makes me feel happy when I'm sad and she makes me very happy when she cuddles me. That's her favourite fleece blanket. Special delivery! Ta-da! Wow, I love it. Katerina, your artwork is truly magical. It makes me feel very happy that other people like my work. Hello, uh, my name's Phoenix. I'm 11 and I just found out that I won This Is Art in the 8 to 11 category. And I am very, very excited. My piece is called The Ghost of Carrots Town and it's very creepy. Beware. It's kind of like a creepy photo. It was taken at night and it's kind of doll-like and fairy tale-ish. The kind of art I'm into making is like 3D stuff and like a lot of costumes. My main influences as an artist is video game characters and a lot of anime and manga. That one makes me look like a ghost which is very cool. I wonder what it is. I've seen lots of cosplay in my many years of comic conventions and I love the spirit and wonder of this one combined with the photo. I just love art. It is so fun. It means a lot to me that I won this. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I'm 15 and I do watercolour painting. I mostly use watercolour because I find it easier than any other type of painting. It takes you a while to like work up the courage to paint people and like before it was flowers and dogs and now it's people. The piece of art that I submitted for This Is Art 2022 is called Papillon and it's based on the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect is a theory that essentially says that one small change can cause a further change down the road. I've depicted that I'm the artist but I'm also the art. On the right hand side there's a bunch of past versions of myself which have all caused me to be the person I am today, the painter painting the art. It is amazing. An absolutely gorgeous painting. Elizabeth demonstrates an incredible level of skill in the way she manages the paint. Uh, well done. It was the first competition I've ever entered apart from school, and the fact that I won <laughs> was kind of insane. <laughs> My name is Sarah, I'm 16 years old, and I'm from County Wexford, and the piece I entered is Stuck in My Room. There is a theme that is running through my work of lockdown. This is one of my most recent pieces that depicts me in my bedroom, which is usually a metaphor for being stuck in my room. I would describe my work as realism with a surrealist twist to it. For me, art is really good, you know, it's a big de-stressor. So I was walking home from school just to my mom's car and I get in and my mom already has the phone in front of my face and I'm like, what is this? I got a phone call today. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From um, RTE that uh, you won the overall top prize in the 16 to 18 category. <laughs> 
Super congratulations and I cannot wait to see your work in the future, Amanda Coogan.